Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. Today's video, we have a quick haul video. I'm smiling already because I know I said I was on a no buy. I wasn't buying anything, but I needed these products and I had to have them. So yeah, let's jump right into it. The first things are from Ulta. I went inside the store and I also ordered some stuff online. One of the things that I had to repurchase, sorry about the noise where is it I already had to open it up and use it because why can I ever never ever find anything hold on y'all let me see there it is oh this isn't even from Ulta I went in my Ulta and they didn't have it so I had to order it from Amazon it's the NYX vivid matte eyeliner in black so and it was ended up being like eight dollars and some change on Amazon, but this it's I had it empty. I ran out. I was digging in it. wasn't no more left. I'm like, oh goodness, went in Ulta and all they had were like brown and gray shades. So I ended up ordering it from Amazon and it came within a day. So first, let's talk about when I went in the store. Why did I go in there? Oh, let me tell you. So I was on that side of town, and I. Didn't go in there for this, but I got another LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn, one of my all-time favorite. Let me look at the receipt because, yeah, that's what I thought. This concealer is $5.49. At one point, I remember this concealer used to be like $1.99, $2.99. This concealer is almost $6, but Fawn is the shade I use to highlight with. And I always, whether I'm at Ulta or the beauty supply store, I kind of pick it up and look at it. Because depending on what store you are, what store you're in, it seems like the shades are different. Same name, but it seems like the shades run different. I don't know. But yeah, I picked up one of those. I also was in the e.l.f. section and I saw a No Budge Cream Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Wildflowers. And it's a pretty pastel purple color like a lavender color that i wanted to give a try i think i have a couple of these uh no budge eyeshadows but of course it's springtime so now is the time for everything to be very fun and colorful and just you know so i said oh let me pick it up and plus it was only five dollars get it out so it comes in a little pot it reminds me of the MAC paint pot and I need to get one of these like in a skin tone shade that I can try on my smile lines because I imagine it probably would do the same but let's see so it looks like this let's see if it shows the problem is wasn't sure if it was going to show up on my dark skin even though this color on here is that's how it looks on my finger Hmm. Make sure you put the top back on tight because you don't want it to dry out. And this is how my nose. This is how it looks on my skin. Pretty. Isn't that pretty, pretty purple? Pretty lavender light purple. You can use this as an eyeshadow base or you can use this as... Just an eyeshadow, just a layer of color. How pretty is that? We did something with that. Okay, so I went in there for, I was online looking at pink powder since you all know that I've been using my Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom new setting powder a lot lately. So I was like, I wonder if, you know, this powder, this paint powder is new or if other companies have the paint powder. And so I typed in paint loose setting powder and Morphe came up and they had it at, in stock at my altar. It was $14. <laughs> Which is cheaper than the Huda Beauty because the Huda Beauty is $35. So it was cheaper. So let's see. It says brightening paint and it's from the baking set. You all know that I always use my baking set Morphe powder and banana rich to set my concealer. So I love the powder. So the powder isn't new to me. It would just be the shade. So let's compare the two like on the back of my hand right quick. 
first we gotta get in it. Let's see. Shake a little bit in the top. It's looking kind of pink, as it should. But make sure I put the top on this because I don't need it to spill everywhere. So this is the Morphe, right? That's the Morphe. It's coming off more white than pink. Now I'm going to watch the Huda Beauty. Cherry Blossom. I'm going to swatch it on the other side of the pink. Same if you ask me. Those are the two. The Huda Beauty is over here. The looks like the Morphe is a little bit opaque, a little bit more opaque, and the Huda Beauty is a little sheared out. But on my dark skin, because you know the this cherry powder or pink powder isn't for dark skin. It's for lighter skin, but you know, it became viral because they said it made dark skin look so bright or a major highlighted area look so good. So yeah, but they look the same to me. Next up for my online order, I ordered the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation in Tan 72. That's the foundation I have on now. I just finished doing a video on it. So be looking out for that video to drop so you can see my thoughts on this foundation. It was $42 and it took a while for me to purchase it on it because my Ulta did not have it and I kept waiting for them to get it because it was hard for me to find my shades. So I really wanted to be able to swatch it and it never got it so i ordered it online and we're here so stay tuned for that video if you want to know my thoughts on this foundation i didn't order a lot of stuff the main thing i ordered was you know for that foundation okay. i did order J Cat, some of these J Cat Chrome Eye Mousse eyeshadows, and I ordered five of them. They look like this, and they're different. Let me see. This is kind of green shade. What does it say? Chrome Eye Mousse, and they were five ninety nine or something like that. I like J-Cat. J-Cat is a affordable, well, as far as like their eyeshadows, their complexion products don't really do anything for my dark skin, but, but that's how it looks. Let's still watch it. Does it feel moussey? It feels moussey once I start. Oh, okay. I told y'all. Oh. What shade did that? I didn't even tell y'all the shade. Leopard King. We might as well swatch all of them since we're here with it. Next up, we have Rose All Day. And I can't remember if these were under like the new category or if I just was looking for something. Rose All Day. It's kind of like that rose gold pink shade for whatever reason I've been into pinks lately <laughs> I've been loving pink shade it, it's moussey but not like real moussey to the point where you feel like you can't work with it ooh y'all ooh that's gonna be pretty so that's rose all day Next up, we have 
flaming spark. Kind of similar to the rose all day, still in that rosy mauve family. I think they had like, now this one, yeah, this one is moosey. Six or seven, it's kind of deeper though. Six or seven of these shades. Flame and Spark. And we got one more, which was a lighter shade. I wanted a lighter shade, almost a white, almost. And it's in Crescent Moon Shop. I just wanted something light. Ask me what I'm gonna do with this shade. I have no idea. But we'll find something to do with it. Crescent Moon Shop. It has some, oh, it has like a sage tint to it. So it's not white. It's kind of like sagey. You see it? All of these are pretty. All of them feel good, look good, are pigmented, and they were like $5.99. But well, all of these look good. Next up, I picked up a eyeshadow base from Essence. It's that Essence Prime Like a Boss eyeshadow base. Intensifying, long-lasting, no creasing, universal shade, and it was $3.99. Let me see. I just want to see the consistency. What kind of consistency is it? It's a, what's a cream? Like a lotion almost? It reminds you of that Urban Decay. I will play with it and see. Right off the bat, I get tacky. It's giving like NYX glitter glue tacky. But yeah, picked up one of those. Uh, Jacqueline Hill, Jacqueline Cosmetics, um, their, her eyeliners were on sale for $12, so I picked up two of them, one is smooth bronze and one is smooth black brown. I enjoy her lip liners, I think it's called Brew, something Brew, is that the name of it, Bold Brew. And that's the dark brown. I really enjoy it. So I was like, okay, well, I should like the eyeliner. And this is in smooth black brown. They look like this. Regular price was like $24. And my other said it was half price. I knew I was going to like it. This thing's so creamy. Ooh. Black brown. It's so creamy. And the other one, what did I say it was in? Bronze, something bronze, smooth bronze. Mm -hmm. This is, oh, yes. This is perfect for the days I don't want to do black. I can do this brown and it not look as harsh. You know, not as strong as a black. You don't have to use black every day. You can use whatever color you want in your waterline. I'm about to put some of this on now. Y'all know every time I do a haul with y'all, I got a plate in the makeup. Yep, love it. And her packaging is so cute. They're so cute and different. Next up, I picked up some stuff from Flower Beauty. They were buy one, get one 50% off. And this is some of their face primers. So the first one is Skin Smoothie Power Matte Primer. And the other is Hydro Pop 
primer. So they were like $12 and they were buy one, get one 50% off. You all know I like matte sometimes. And then of course I like to be hydrated sometimes. And of course I just mix them all the time. <laughs> but let's go ahead. I used to own a concealer by Power, by Flower Beauty. And they were, so this is the, which one is this? This is the matte one. I'm going to show y'all the consistency. The matte one is like a cream. It's like a cream. And then let's see if the hydro one is like a gel. And it comes with the pump. And the hydro one is like a gel, a serum. Yeah. Mm, it smells good. It smells like candy. And that shiny part on my hand is where the Hydro Grip one is. Oh, we're going to play with that. And I mainly ordered this because I am a huge fan. That's the Drew Barrymore collection. I'm a huge fan of Drew Barrymore. I just love her. One of my favorite movies from her is Riding in Car with Boys. I can watch that movie no matter how many times it comes on. I always watch it from the beginning to the end. I love that movie. Love that movie. Riding in Cars with Boys. Drop down and let me know if you like that movie. And I got a free sample of some stuff. Well, not free. If you purchase so much something, they gave you something. Is this something I can use? Smashbox Primer. Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And a go-getter spot clarifying dot patch for late stage surface zits. But they gave me one patch in here. You can see that. And Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. Now I will be now on Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I think I'm gonna try something from Peach and Lily when it's on sale. Only because I've heard really great things and I don't own anything from them. And they gave me a sample of let's see, none of these are my shade anyway. The Karen Glow by Lacombe. They gave me 220 220C, 325C, 425C, and 515W. Hmm. None of them are my shade, but that's what they gave me. That's everything from Ulta. Let's move on to the next. Okay, last up is ColourPop. They were having a sale. I ended up on their website, and I got some things. Nothing... I don't think anything new, like everything was on sale. I don't know why. I don't know how or why or when or where or what <laughs> I ended up on their website for. Let's just go with it because everything is wrapped in bubble wrap. First up is this Super Shock Shadow, and this is from the Peeps Collection. And everything was on sale, so I don't know what the price was, but just know it was on sale. And this is a yellow one, of course, because you all know that I am obsessed with yellow. So let's see, first of all, if it shows up on me. That's the only thing I care about in this package. Oh, this is beautiful. This is divine. Hmm. Please show up as you should. We might be on to something. Something. <laughs> Y'all see it? I don't care. As long as it shows up, I am. Oh, it's okay with me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to play in that this week. This is from the Powder Puff, Powder Puff Girls Collection. Fighting Crime Press Powder Blush. Y'all know this had to be on sale. I'm at the age. I don't know nothing about the Powder Puff Girls. That wasn't my time. And it's a pink shade. Cute. 
been obsessed with paint. Oh, my word. Paint shade. Let's see. Let's watch it. It's a nice flush of color. It's pigmented. This thing is pigmented. Come on, flush of color, no ma'am. This thing is pigmented. <laughs> you gotta be real light handed with that. I got um I got some paint blush on today, so let's go ahead. Oh. Did it show? Y'all yeah, see it. <laughs> I like it. Okay, next up is Cream Gel Liner Duo. Is this for your eyes or your lips? I don't know. Must be for your eyes. And this is the Golden State Warriors something. I told y'all, I don't know what I ordered. Oh, it come with two in the inside. Two, yeah, that's gotta be gel. Hmm, okay. That's how it looks. I probably got it because of the blue shade, because I've been trying to do looks with that blue. This is a mustard shade on me. The yellow is. And let's see what, what the blue do. Ooh, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at that blue. Look at that blue. Oh, that blue is everything. Hold on. I don't care. I don't dare that look now. Nah, so. Oh. Mm, that blue is pretty. That's just the right shock value that you need. Okay, let me stay focused. Y'all know you gotta keep me focused. Next up, we got the Lakers. One, the West. So, I guess this is purple and gold. Let's see. No, yeah, purple and gold. Let's see. Gold. It is gold. <laughs> Let's see the purple. Okay. Colourpop. Oh, I didn't know these things were that pigmented. Get out of here. Get out of here and shut the door. Look how pigmented that is. Hmm. Picked up a single pressed powder shadow in Good Thing. It's a like a um, brick shade, like a brown brick shade. Yeah, I know I'm obsessed with these for transition colors. Yeah, I got it somewhere, but it probably was like 99 cent. So I couldn't resist. Yep, it's a transition shade, all right. Can I see it? Mm -hmm. What is this? S snitch, snitch, Uri, color pop. Define Feminine Lippy Kit. No idea what this is. So it comes like it comes with a lip liner and a matte lipstick. Scarlet letter. I don't know. The lip liner is in scarlet letter. Oh, well, it's kind of like a, almost the color of that eyeshadow I just swatched. The transition. 
that's a pretty different color brown orange right let's see the matte stick let's see what that do let's watch it next to it it's like a gloss like a it's not matte it's glossy it's right next to it it's glossy it's different. That's going to be real different on me. Okay, next I got two lip products. Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. One in Nice and Slow and one in First Taste. I feel like I got Nice and Slow already. If I got Nice and Slow already, then I'll like, give it away. But this is First Taste. These were like three dollars. Of course, y'all know this is probably one of my favorite new shades. Yeah, first taste. Perfect nude. Not too bright, but bright enough for my dark skin. And then nice and slow. I won't swatch it, only because the name sounds so familiar to me that I feel like I have it. Just in case I need to give it away. But this is how it looks. I'm going to check my collection and see. Uh -oh. I put it in the box wrong. Okay. Next I have an eyeshadow palette. It looks like the Boston Celtics eyeshadow thing. No, I got it for the green. I've been into green and pinks lately. <laughs> and this has both of them in there. But that's how it looks. <laughs> I used to love the Boston Celtics. Love them. That was my team. I'm going to swatch the 1946, the deepest um, green they have. Let's swatch it. And Rivalry. Ooh. Mmm. And then this one. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. look at that, y'all. Uh -oh. oh, I'm in love with eyeshadow. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, look at that. Mm. Uh -oh. uh oh look at there oh perfect combination perfect perfect combination where's my wipe there it is that's a perfect combination right there okay i'm gonna leave that out on my desk saint patrick's day is coming up that'll be a perfect look even though i gotta work so Stay on this St. Patrick's Day. Put that up. I'm really excited about what I see in front of me, which is the last little bit. And we're done. Because I know this haul was all over the place. Let's see. There's some more Super Shock, shock Shadows. Um. One is in Mogul and the other one is in YOLO. Mogul, YOLO. Mm. I am so happy. Mogul. When I saw this and I clicked on it, I'm like, I'm saying to myself, please don't be out. Please don't be out. Because you know when you click on the product, it's like out of stock. I'm like, oh. I'm like, please don't be out. This is similar to the eyeliner I just swatched that I left on my hand because I love so much. So this is Mogul. Oh, yeah, Mogul. Let's watch it. It's a super shock. Oh. Oh, calm down. Breathe. 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 Oh, no. If y'all could get this on the sale. <coughs> Excuse me. If y'all could get this, <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. This is everything. I got a call. <coughs> I done got too excited. Where's my water? Mogul. Look at that shade. Y'all see this shade? Isn't that shade beautiful? It's a cross between a blue purple, but it is beautiful. Well, I had to go get me a sip of water. I was too excited. But yeah, this is Mogul. That is beautiful. I'm in love with that already. So the last one is YOLO. And it's still in the purple family. Just a more. Come on, what are you doing? <clears throat> I wouldn't know what to call this type of purple. Well, let's watch it. <laughs> I think I hit the jackpot with these, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. I hit the jackpot. No questions asked. Look at that. YOLO and Mogul. YOLO and Mogul. Those are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If they're if, <clears throat> if they're still on sale, this is the one thing that I'll link for you to try out. Because I'm blown away with this. Blown away. Okay, guys, that's everything for my quick little haul. If you have any of the products that I purchased today, drop down and let me know what your thoughts are on these products. And I think I really got some good stuff. And on sale, hmm. So y'all will be seeing those ColourPop eyeshadows for sure. All of them, for sure. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe, and all of that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.